So integrative medicine, or in this case integrative oncology, is really combining the very best treatments that conventional medicine has to offer, as well as eastern or complementary natural medicine. Integrative oncology also looks beyond just disease. A cliched, maybe one says you look at the person behind the disease or the cancer and looks at how to hold the patient's hand and heart through this healing journey. As one enters the program, you have a medical consultation with a doctor that's comprehensive and does full blood workups with tests that ordinary aren't done in South Africa. We have a full DNA workup, both looking at your oxidative status and liver. We have a natural medicine practitioner who's looking at Chinese medicine, phytotherapy, uh, doing certain types of alternative diagnostics. We have a full dietitian dedicated to your specific program. We have a counselor or psychologist, massage, some Reiki, some yoga, things like that too. And we also have electromagnetic therapies that we become that become available and the very best of phytotherapy or Chinese medicine isolates as well as something called PDT which is a very progressive treatment as we said that they're using a lot uh, overseas in Germany and clinics in China etc. Integrative oncology is certainly graining momentum there are large universities overseas and hospital groups that are now having ward rounds with oncology professors and Chinese medicine practitioners and various natural medicine doctors finding phenomenal results and certainly in South Africa I think it's gaining momentum. The diagnosis of cancer is both frightening and also quite a heavy burden to hold and we find that when patients come and they finally feel like they've arrived at a place that isn't bombarded by Google or by contradicting practitioners opinions about things or family or friends advice and they can just finally land and feel supported at such a weight off their shoulders and then the true healing begins. Then we start looking at what is the very best for your specific type of cancer and stage of cancer and state of health at this time. We choose the right type of herbal isolates, PDT treatment perhaps, some injectable treatments and vitamin nutrition as well as a supportive wellness program that we offer. We still have a lot of patients, up to 86% of patients are using complementary therapies, whether it's nutritional therapy or whether it's some type of herbal or natural medicine, but they're not telling the oncologist. And oncologists sometimes are open to understanding and listening, but very often they don't understand what natural medicine encompasses and they may say, rather don't use it because they want to keep their therapy pure. We have a dedicated angel program that looks after what the patient needs at what time, make sure that the process of every different treatment happens seamlessly and also coordinates the different types of therapies that it's ready for when the patient needs it most. Starting as an integrative practitioner, I saw many different types of autoimmune diseases, childhood complications, cancers and eventually the practice started growing to predominantly cancer because A, there was such a need and B, it makes one confront so many challenges at a deep level that there's a lot to work with. Patients become very real with themselves and you can make serious progress with therapy when you involve the patient and the patient's family. As part of this treatment we hope to equip patients with an ability to take charge of their life again, understand and have the knowledge of what medicines are best to use as well as having used them already and getting to good habit patterns of diet and emotional processing and things like this.